So why are we here? We're why are we in this lecture theatre? Yeah. So this is a, te a typical teaching space. So it goes back to the theme of the physical reality of this is what we're confronted with mm. on, a, so on a regular basis. So rows of students. So yeah, rows of students. Ingurgitating knowledge projected at them on a huge cinema sized yeah, screen. Yeah, facing a screen. So the stage, the, right the stage, the sage on the stage, kind of metaphor for the space. So how do we how do we embrace global citizenship, in connectivity, context, yeah. in this context? What does it mean? What are the implications for how we teach? Okay, so that's the question that's we're going to be looking at. Challenge in a space like this, really. Um, and what's your embodied experience, Juliet? Uh, well, I'm sort of going with it a bit, but my my embodied experience is it's the way you've got. I find it exciting architecturally. So because I find it exciting architecturally, there's something about, you know, concrete walls with a bit of wood there. Yeah. I get a buzz. So because I'm getting a buzz, it might influence in a way the when I'm teaching, I might feel a little bit more alive and alert and aesthetic response to the students or to the place or to the knowledge I'm talking about, whatever's the topic. Embodied, though, I do see reality. If I'm looking out at 80 students, 100 students, or 300, if it's a full lecture, I'm thinking, how many of them are listening? What are they doing on their phones? What mm. are they doing on their pads? What is the actual element of learning going on in here? It's quite hard to predict because it's such a large-scale thing, like any lecture theatre, really, but this kind of... But I think everybody will be feeling a bit of a buzz too. So does that motivate them more to learn? Does it motivate them to have different kinds of ideas about things? I'm not sure. So the same about the sound as well. You can imagine with this full of people at the start of a lecture, it will be noisy. Mm. Mm. And then we go into this silence mm. of giving the lecture. Mm. Whereas mm. actually, is it about, for me, maintaining the buzz and the noise, which is quite uncomfortable? in the normal way of teaching. But mm. you've got that to start with, so capture that and use that in the teaching. How would you do that, do you reckon? By through activity. You know, it is, oh, it is, it is yeah. disrupt the, mm, the yeah. mode that this suggests. That's right. Passive mm. listening to mm. screen mm. and on the front. Mm. And, and use the fact that there are all these people in the same space at the same time. Mm. Mm. Well... I'm inspired by what you're saying and, you know, this idea of disrupting. I love mm. ideas of disruption. So the idea that this is this linear kind of seating. And what did you say? Something of the rectangle? The discourse of the rectangle, yeah. The discourse, break that down for me. What does that Well, mean? basically that means that students are trained from an early age mm. to see knowledge in the form of a rectangle. It can be a page. It can be a PowerPoint. No, mm. it's, they don't see it as being... It's, 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 a, it's a regime. It disciplines mm. them to think that's what knowledge is. Mm. We break the rectangle up and it's no longer the same discourse of knowledge. That's what I meant by interesting, that. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. So for me, from a global citizen perspective, global citizenship perspective and also this idea of sitting in a row to, you know, imbibe yes. <laughs> what uh, this what you need is to get a good grade. Yes, and what I need to get a good grade. The idea of disrupting the space is very exciting. How would we do that? You know, mm. and that can be a conversation mm. that we look mm. at. Mm. How would we do that? Um, because we are looking at our practice and we're expecting that they're going to be teachers there. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, so yeah. we're going to be reflecting on their own practice. And also learners, are we ready? If Neil was to stand up there, for example, and say, right, get up out of your seats, and actually we're not going to use these seats at all, you know, we're going to do this completely differently, would I think, would I feel comfortable? Would I be like, oh, okay, uh, <laughs> what's happening here? You know, when no, you sit down yeah. in the canteen afterwards, would we think that was a good lecture? Yeah, oh, not? no, definitely, that's a key point. <coughs> so these are key questions and to ask. And I should ask. think, yeah, they are questions to ask, and it would be a very tricky one. Um, you'd need, because I, you, what you're saying about disrupting is actually just in a way Neil, and that's not being critical because I like that idea too, but you're just saying group work. I mean, you know, which has been around in eight, for ages in UK education as mm. a notion of decentralizing, getting away from the sage on the stage, but could we then maybe in this space, which is, it's a slotted, it's, you have it for two hours, how do you have it that long? You know, could we use their technologies, their social media to do some form of new learning too? I don't know. But the group work thing, is, is is that disruptive? Or is it actually, on the other hand, a kind of conformism, but just one that doesn't quite match this particular space? Mm. So are we forcing a 
you know, uh, a round plug into a square hole or whatever the expression is. I'm just thinking yeah. it through as I talk. I'm not necessarily saying it wouldn't work, and it's you certainly want wouldn't want you know two hours. And I think mainly what happens in this building, as I know it, you have one hour lecture in here, and then you have the breakout seminars. Um, okay, that because that because you be my could point not now. have a two hour lecture in here. Sure. The interactive lectures would have sure. to be smaller. I mean, what I was going to say is, I think it's a complementary mix. I think that's what it's about. That's the conversation that mm. we need to be having. Mm. So, like you just said, we have an hour here mm. where it's lecture time, you mm. know, um, and then we break out somewhere else. And, and there's another nice. kind Lectures of... Not, there's nothing wrong sure. with people sharing knowledge sure. on the stage. It can sure. be great. Really. Yeah. Well, look at TED. Look at the TED Talks. Yeah, there we you go. You know, and this is yeah. a kind of setup. But I do think, given that we have got global citizenship as a strategic steer, as a graduate attribute, mm. this is a new building, it's been designed, you know, mm. questions around what this means mm. Um, mm. with this kind of setup, which you find replicated all over the world, mm. you know, um, what does it mean? It'd be an interesting They are interesting questions, definitely. For